Hi everyone, I'm here at the Back to Eden Garden in Gettysburg and I uh, just came to pick some vegetables for uh, an elderly lady that we uh, like to help out and I uh, got some beets for her and some Swiss chard. I've already put some uh, zucchini in the vehicle but I just wanted to give you a, a, a vi visual of what the garden looks like right now. With all the rain and the hot weather that we've had lately, the garden has really just exploded. And uh, what we have here is, is we have a pumpkin over here for baking pumpkin. Love those fresh pumpkin pies. On the other side of the pumpkin, there's watermelon. They kind of grow together, but they still produce lots of fruit and they do quite well. And this year we put kale in here. And typically I've not been able to do well with brassicas, the kale and cabbage and broccoli, that sort of thing. But we put some mums or not mums, but marigold around them. And my goodness, they're just doing tremendous. I mean, look at these kale. They're gorgeous. Green and full and lush, and they're, they're, I don't see any bugs on them at all. So I'm really uh, convinced that that's gonna work for us. Even where we have typically not been able to grow the brassicas. This is a volunteer pumpkin that came up Last year, I just left some pumpkins in the corner of the garden here in the front for people to take if they wanted them. Nobody took them, so some of them just went ahead and uh, seeded themselves this year. And uh, the deer ate a lot of them. But And back in here, we have uh, cantaloupe and honeydew. And then on the toward the fence is the, uh, the watermelon and the tomatoes. I just tied some of these up. They're doing just tremendous, just tremendous and a lot of tomatoes a lot of fruit on these tomato vines and the the peppers man they're looking good they're growing just great more peppers the tomato we love that sun gold tomato and i just picked a bunch off of there and uh, don't tell my wife i ate a whole lot of them she likes them too with the basil and here we have the white sweet potatoes and I'll let them grow right outside the fence. The deer will chew off, eat off these leaves and vines out here, but they'll just grow right back and be, the potatoes will be fine. Here's a tower of, of uh, cucumbers. And I'm growing the pickling cucumbers here and also a kind of a novelty, but it's lemon cucumbers. They're about the size of a baseball and uh, they're the color of lemon, but they are a cucumber. They taste like a cucumber. And I just pruned the uh, zucchini plants to get some of those big leaves out of there to allow uh, ventilation and allow the pollinators to get in there to uh, pollinate the, the blossoms. I've been pulling some of these beets and the Swiss chard. And um, the beets are, my goodness gracious, look at the size of these things. I mean, that right there, that's... Uh, a little fuzzy, but that's kind of a typical beat right here today, these days right here. And uh, we, we need to get some of these eaten and maybe get some more planted for a fall harvest. But here you can see the, the sea of melon vines and my composter. This uh, will all fill in before they're done growing. And it'll be a little bit of a project to keep a walkway through here, keep a path open. And the, uh, the winter squash, we like uh, butternut squash quite a bit. And uh, we love that stuff. And spaghetti squash and some other uh, patty pan and uh, I think another variety of winter squash. And the Beauregard sweet potatoes that uh, they store very, very well. And a row of uh, <clears throat> pole lima beans. They're just doing tremendous. That's a wall of green, full of blossoms, just blossoms everywhere. We're gonna have a lot of lima beans here. And uh, that's okay because we all like lima beans. We got a fungus on the green beans. And uh, I, I probably should pull these out. Uh, I have a hard time pulling things out, but we should probably, I should probably get these out of here and let that ground just kind of settle out for a little bit and uh, because of that fungus area I put planted some more green beans and put up these trellises 
and they're going to grow up there pretty quickly. They're already starting to grow up the string. And the uh, same over here with uh, these two tripods with a top on. And it'll grow right, grow right across the top there. And the last of our potatoes, I have harvested all the other potatoes in this patch. And these are the last to be harvested. And this is the last area in this garden that does not have fresh wood chips on it right where these tomato plants are. As I pull up the tomato, uh, potato plants and get the potatoes out of there, then I cover that area with, um, that I've just exposed with fresh wood chips. And that way it keeps the weeds down. But it could, because I'm telling you, without those fresh wood chips and with putting the manure on this year, that manure had seed in it. So it had to get covered with wood chips and when it didn't, it really grew weeds like crazy. But uh, this is it. This is it in uh, July 18th and 2021. It's big and green. I want to thank you for viewing our videos. Really appreciate that. And I uh, want to let you know about we're coming out with some videos really soon and uh, they're going to have more of a spiritual aspect of the garden and uh, the whole aspect of the covering. So keep checking us out. Thanks for watching.